Five percent. God, that seems expensive, Don. Yes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything. No way. Interest rates hit five percent. The world's gonna just shatter. Yeah, we should just rent forever and pay someone else's mortgage. All right. Thanks for joining <laughs> us again on the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gatling and Gino Fronti. We're three years we've been sharing with you what you need to know, want to know, should know about real estate finance and so much more. And today we're going to talk about what you're fearful of or hearing in the news about rising interest rates. I know we've been talking a little bit more about this, but it's important. It is absolutely critical. And this, there's this uh, misconception in the marketplace that rising interest rates will depress values and this market's going to crash and affordability, it's impossible. And if I wanted to remember the last time I heard, it can't go any higher. The market can't keep growing. That's when I bought my first property in 2002. There you go. I did pretty damn good between 2002 and 2007. Yeah, yes, yes. And we're in a, a strong market. Oh, sorry about that. Whoop. Restart. Oh, hey. Tonight. All right. So, All right, computer live malfunction. Show. Live show. <laughs> Okay, back to our screen here. Um, all right, so right here we got an, another article we share other people by Steve Randall who basically says the housing market is well placed to withstand the expected rise in mortgage rates according to a new report. First, you know, basically we're just going to slip the another slide because they're just saying that right now we're poised for 6.11 million homes to be sold, which is up 4.4% 4, 4 year over year, and then it's only going to change to 6.10 if it goes to 5%. Yeah, it's got a marginal impact. Interest right. rates rising have a marginal impact. There are so many factors that affect appreciation that interest rates is just one factor. Affordability is just one factor. The most important thing, and if you've gone through college and taken an economics course, supply and demand. Well, like here how we highlight right in the middle though, this is the most important part of why this could happen. You go, wow, it should affect if rates go up. But Fleming here backs us up and says the reason for rising – Fleming adds that the reason for rising mortgage rates is because this economy is stronger, driving higher household incomes. So, so therefore, it almost bounces up. So let me give a kind of real-life scenario when it comes to numbers. Most of the time on the loan amounts that we work with, the difference between an eighth in interest rate is about 45 to 60 bucks a month. So a quarter, let's just say rates go up a quarter, you're now talking about eh, 80 to 100 bucks a month. Right. So are you really not going to buy a house for 100 bucks a month? Then you shouldn't be buying a house if, you, if that makes the difference. Well, and now most of us are getting at least marginal raises. For a while, everybody was just glad to keep their jobs <laughs> yeah. or get a job. Now everybody's, now everybody's a little starting better. to get, you know, standard, uh, you know, nothing huge, but everybody is starting to get incremental, raise, incremental rate. And the, the, because the unemployment has gone down so much, I think you're going to see that more. I think you're going to see income start increasing. Supply. Oh, demand. wait, you just said that. Yeah, I thought okay. there was an echo in here. <laughs> so bottom line is, don't be fearful. The rates have been actually holding pretty steady. They're great rates. Don't let it panic. Get into home ownership, please. Again, I don't know of anybody who's gone into home ownership and held on to their home. We did have a hardship level. Past the cycle. Over time, has done extremely well and so happy to have home ownership. And we'd be glad to help you out in any way. Reach out to us at donandgino at gmail.com or find out more at donandgino.com.